Marking SpaceX's fifth launch of the year, a two-stage Falcon 9 rocket topped with the National Reconnaissance Offices, or NROL-87 payload, has lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. If you are thinking it is one of SpaceX's normal launches, then let me break it to you that it's not, because according to sources, it is one of the top secret US spy satellites, which will carry out some specific tasks for the US military. So what will this spy satellite actually do in space? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Elon Musk Evolution, where we tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to talk about the newly launched US spy satellite and for what mission will it be used? If you want to find out more, then stay with us until the end of the video. Also, before we start the video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos. And let's get started. The previous year proved to be very successful for Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies, including SpaceX, as it won many important contracts and launched various successful flights into space. Considering SpaceX's recent success, the US military is also ready to trust the company for its future launches to space. SpaceX just launched one of the top secret spy satellites for the US military called NROL-87, and this launch was SpaceX's fifth launch of 2022. In addition, the mission marked the company's 143rd orbital launch overall, and its 105th booster landing. SpaceX commonly reuses Falcon 9 first stages, as well as those of its Falcon Heavy rocket, as a way to reduce launch costs and boost productivity. But the first stage that helped launch NROL-87 had not flown before, as its brand new status was indicated by its clean, unblemished coat of white paint. The NROL-87 launch came just two days after SpaceX delivered the Italian CSG-2 Earth Observation Satellite to orbit from Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. It's not clear what the spy satellite will do up there, as its activities and instruments are classified, like those of most NRO spacecraft, but this mission is going to be really important, both for the US as well as Elon Musk. According to an NROL official, NROL-87 was the NRO's first launch of the year, and its first with SpaceX under a $316 million national security space launch contract that was signed in 2020. It was also one of the first NRO missions to involve a rocket landing. Furthermore, NROL-87 missions is the third time the agency has used the Falcon 9 rocket. The NRO booked two previous missions on Falcon 9 rockets that launched from Florida in 2017 and 2020 through lower cost commercial contract arrangements, eschewing the close oversight of the military. The NROL-87 mission returns to the established formula for the NRO's numerous missions that have flown on United Launch Alliance's Atlas and Delta rockets. But there's a key difference with the Falcon 9 launch from California this week. Unlike the expendable single-use Atlas and Delta rockets, the Falcon 9 is powered by reusable first-stage booster, which makes this mission very unique. As per official statement, the SpaceX rocket took off at 12.27 p.m. on the 3rd of February from the Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, the National Reconnaissance Office, which is in charge of the U.S. Space Force. After releasing the satellite into orbit, the Falcon 9 rocket then landed back at the base, as the statement said. NROL-87 is designed, built, and operated by the NRO to support its overhead reconnaissance mission. The NRO gave few other details about the satellite but said it will provide a wide range of timely intelligence information. In addition, the mission for the U.S. government's spy satellite agency will aim to place its payload into a north-south polar orbit about 318 miles or 512 kilometers above Earth. But little more is publicly known about the spacecraft. According to a statement by Colonel Chad Davis, director of the NRO's Office of Space Launch, I cannot provide, unfortunately, really any details whatsoever publicly which is really frustrating to me in one regard because then I'm not able to accurately communicate the kind of capability this is going to deliver on orbit. Generally, Davis said, the NRO puts the capabilities on orbit to save lives, as he further added that it's our US and allied forces in the field that are using these kinds of capabilities in a daily basis, Davis said. So support the fight on the ground, as it were, bring them home safe, and deliver our national policymakers the most detailed information that's possible so they can make smart decisions. It's that kind of capability set that this mission is going to fall into. 
The orbital parameters suggest that the payload may be part of a new generation of optical NRO surveillance satellites, as Davis, head of the NRO's launch program, confirmed in a pre-launch media telecon that the NROL-87 mission will carry a single payload into orbit. So the Falcon 9 rocket had enough reserve propellant to return to Vandenberg for a landing, indicating that the NRO payload is relatively lightweight. Talking about the flight, the climb out of the lower atmosphere on a southerly trajectory went smoothly and the first stage fell away as planned about 2 minutes and 20 seconds after liftoff. The second stage carrying the NROL-87 satellite continued towards space, but as usual with classified missions, SpaceX ended its ascent commentary at that point. But the company provided spectacular video of the first stage returning to the launch site, firing three of its engines to reverse course and then again to slow down for descent into the thick lower atmosphere. A final single engine firing lowered the stage to touch down on four landing legs. It was SpaceX's 105th successful booster recovery, including four in California, 22 in Florida, and 79 at sea. The NRO manages a fleet of intelligence gathering satellites, capturing super sharp optical and radar imagery around the world. The agency also has spacecraft tracking foreign naval deployments, eavesdropping on communications by adversaries, and relying on surveillance images between spy satellites and intelligence analysts on the ground. Agencies that compile NRO data include the National Security Agency and National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. Civil agencies such as FEMA also use NRO intelligence for research and development and for emergency and disaster relief efforts in the United States and around the world. As launch schedules currently stand, Davis said that the NRO has seven launches planned in an eight-month period. Beginning with the NRO-87 mission, as he said, we're looking at something like a half a dozen for the calendar year, deploying 12 payloads. If I take snapshot today, the number is seven launches in eight months, as it sits today from three different continents. Davis didn't specify mission numbers or launch providers for the remaining NRO launches this year, but two of the remaining six missions are believed to be a part of the National Security Space Launch Program, which include the NRO-85 launch on another SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and the NRO-L-91 mission on a ULA Delta IV Heavy rocket. Last year, the NRO said it had received two missions for the launch on Rocket Lab Electron Launch Vehicles from New Zealand. Those two launches, NROL-162 and NROL-199, likely account for two more missions later this year. Davis also didn't identify the third continent that will host an NRO mission in 2022. However, one possibility might be a planned launch by Virgin Orbit, a US-based company of its small air launch rocket off the coast of England this summer. The launch of the NROL-87 mission from Vandenberg, located on the Pacific coastline between Los Angeles and San Francisco, came amid a busy stretch of missions on SpaceX's schedule. SpaceX previously launched a Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station on Monday evening with an Italian radar remote sensing satellite. Another Falcon 9 rocket loaded with a group of Starlink Internet satellites was standing on Pad 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center for a launch opportunity at 4.51 p.m. on Wednesday, just 93 minutes after SpaceX planned to launch from Vandenberg. However, the launch was delayed to Thursday due to unknown reasons. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? What do you think the new spy satellite will do? Share with us in the comments below. And thanks for watching.